So we're here with Steve Winter at the Ohio State University's booth, and this is their entry for the Solar Decathlon. And uh, we're just going to talk to Steve a little bit about what makes his design different. Now, the rest of Steve's team isn't here, so he's going to speak on their behalf. So, Steve, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, I think some of the, the big um, ideas in this house is uh, super, super insulated, um, air tightness, trying to uh, really uh, focus on all the passive features first, so orientation, shading, cross ventilation, um, trying to uh, get the most performance out of the house with passive systems first and then address anything else with the active system. So uh, like, like every house, it it's, uh, receives all of its power through a PV panel, so we'll actually be producing all of our electricity. It's designed to be net zero. Um, we're also doing a little solar thermal water heating, so actually using the sun to, to preheat our water for domestic use. Um, and about how big is it? about a thousand square feet which is the maximum uh, square footage for these houses in this competition yeah. and can you tell us a little bit about the actual layout of the house sure uh, our house is called encore which it's uh, our second entry into this competition so it's called encore for that reason it's also called encore because we're the house is uh, centered around a, a central mechanical core that has uh, yeah. Concentric rings, right? Yeah. So, basically, you know, everything is in the core. All the all the wet space, the bathroom, the kitchen, um, the, the logis logistical um, complexity of this project, and the fact that we have to take them apart and ship them. It's nice. I mean, ideally, when you build this these houses on a on a permanent site, it's nice to have a central core as well. But it really helps us in transporting the project. And then everything else is arranged around that core where it's dense in the center, starts getting lighter out towards the exterior. And the exterior of the house itself is supposed to um, feel really light, um, transparent in places, so you can get these uh, notions of, of, of how the house is formed beneath the uh, exterior facade. And what's going to happen to the house after the competition? We're currently looking at sites in Columbus, Ohio. So. Um, Columbus, like many cities, there's a lot of uh, industrial land that they're repurposing and, uh, for residential uh, communities and spaces. So we're hoping that this house can, uh, when it goes back to Columbus, can actually be set up and hopefully have a family that can live in it. Great. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thanks, guys.